vlog we're going to take you on a little shopping spree to go get some ingredients because we're going to do BT's kitchen. kitchen. So we're actually going to make some healthy snack options for you during the week. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose three healthy snacks. That's right, three, Becca. Three. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to show you how to cook them. Very easy, very simple, but first we're going to go get some ingredients because we actually have run out. So the three healthy snack options that we are making today. The first one we'll start off with, we're gonna make a healthy little quiches. So these yeah. will be little, like, looks like muffin size quiches. So basically you can have them for either breakfast or if you're on the go, have it for an afternoon snack. Very healthy, very simple, and only takes like 30 minutes, 20 minutes in the oven. Second one we're going to make is, if you are crave a bit of salt, like I do, and you feel like chips or something in the afternoon. Some people are sweet tooth. I know I'm a little bit salty. So I've come up with these chickpeas little snacks. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna buy some chickpeas, cook them in the oven, add some salt and paprika on them, and there's gonna be a little snack. Yeah, they are delicious. delicious. Oh. And what's the last one, Beth? The last one is if you are and have a sweet tooth, like I do, I crave a lot of sugar and sweet. <laughs> these are gonna be coconut rough. So it's like a healthy option than your normal coconut rub, and they are amazing. So good, take like nothing, very easy to make. So stay tuned for this. Yep, here we go. May I ask, what are you doing? I'm sweating. I'm airing my armpits out. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot! <laughs> shirt makes me sweat. Yeah, because it's right underneath your armpits. It's like right underneath. What do you think the degrees is today? I'm guessing, this is me, I'm thinking it's nearly 40. So, so we, we live, where do we live, Becca? We live in Brisbane, Queensland. And it's starting to get hot here and it is hot today. It's cooking. Yeah. So we're just heading down to our local supermarket. We normally go to a fruit and veg place to get all our stuff, which is our local, like, what do you call them? Fresh market? Yep, yeah, so everything's nice and fresh. But unfortunately, we don't have much time. We don't have much time, and I think it's shut at the moment. So, so yeah, it's a bit busy today. So we're just gonna go down to our local Woolies, which is just down the road, get some essentials. I've got the list. We've got the list, and yeah, yeah. off we go. Almond milk that we love getting is on special half price. This is the best one if you need it for oats, anything. Oh, this is the best almond milk. It is unsweetened. Mm -hmm. So Tasha's gonna we got you got a whole range of chickpeas. Obviously organic would be better, but if you don't have much money and stuff, you can go the cheaper van because we are gonna drain them, aren't we? Yes, we're gonna drain them and peel them. Peel them. 80 cents. Mm. Oh, Let's well, at the moment, we've got to get some deodorant because Tash, oh my God, there's so many people. <laughs> because I ran out of deodorant, so I was like, oh, I'll just use Tash's and just use hers because she's living with me. Um, and then I just found out Tash goes, do you have any deodorant? Because she's run out as well. She was going to do the well, same that, thing. That just shows twins who ran out on the same day. We did. We did. No one wants to buy any because they're not on special. <laughs> So when I come to the shop, I mainly just go around the outside. That's where I get like my veggies, my meat, if I don't go to an actual local produce. Coming down the aisles is very, very hard because there's so many sweet stuff. And yeah, you just want to chuck it in. Put it, keep, you don't realize the trolley's full. Just keep oh, putting it in the trolley. Not good food. Yeah. So I usually stick around the outside, but at the moment we're just looking for little things like mint deodorant, mint peanut butter, which is in the middle, um, and some canned food, and that, that's set in the middle as well. So yeah. if we, I go down the aisles if I need some rice or something like that. Yeah, because they're not on the outside, but if 
got to watch what aisles you actually go down. Yes. Because it can get quite hard. Var, avoid aisle two, three, and four. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll have Oh, and like always, we get stopped. This is why you don't go down aisles. aisles. Tasha's looking at the new water bottle range. These are, um, oh, they're I cool. Okay. You seen the price of them? 25 bucks. <laughs> So me and Tash love coming down this aisle because you can find some really cool stuff, like just different stuff and healthier stuff. So it's one of our favorite aisles. Hungry. Don't go hungry because you start going to the middle aisle. <laughs> me for ages and you just put it in a jar at the end and then have it in the cupboard. So what we're going to do is Becca's going to rinse these for me. I use a tea towel, pop the tea towel down once she's rinsed them. So then we can lay them all out and what we want to do is we want to take the skin off the chickpea and that's what makes it more crunchier and that more saltier, the salt sticks to it more, I reckon, when they don't skin them. So she's going to give them a quick wash. Oh, that's it. So you can rub them a little bit gentle because you will squish them. And that will get some of them off. So what we're going to do is we're going to oh, use... Look, some of the skin is actually already coming off. So all I do is they're like little shells. You just basically squish a little bit together and the skin comes off. You can see like that. So we're just going to do oh, that. Simple. Just push it. Yeah, this looks a bit fiddly, but this is the only fiddly thing of our three recipes. Once it's done, you're right. Go. It's so easy to put it in the oven. Really, really easy. They come off so simple. Crack with one hand. 
Oh, oh nailed it. <laughs> In there and basically just pop all the ingredients inside because all we're doing is mixing it together and then we're basically going to grease our little trays and then it goes into the oven. These are our ingredients in front, so we're going to go ahead and put them in. Start with the coconut. So one cup of co dislocated coconut. Show it. Dislocated. Dislocated is really great. One cup in, and then we've got. Do you want to do the dry first? Yeah. So we've got um, three, four, four tablespoons of cacao powder. So we're going to sift it. You're going to put them into your trays. Now, I have got a silicon tray because it is easy to pop them out because it doesn't actually stick to the sides because they're only going to go in the freezer. Um, and you don't want it to, you can put them at any size, but I use the half size ones just because there's more bite size. Um, if you want to go a deeper pan, you can, but it is better with a smaller size because it will get overpowering. drizzle of coconut oil just so the salt sticks to them. Oh that wasn't really a drizzle was it? So I am obsessed with chapeta. That will give you a nice smoky taste. So that's the chapeta. Over as much as you want. Checking on the 
muffins. Always checking on them. Oh, they look done. Oh, they look good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is make sure you use a little mitt, because the tray is gonna be hot. We're gonna get them out, put them on the, on the plate so they cool down. And when do you have them, Tash? You can have two of these for brekkie if you want to. Otherwise, you can actually just have one on the go. If you want it for morning tea with your coffee, it's literally like nothing in there. Eggs and veggies. And where they sit, they go in the fridge. These don't? will go into the fridge. And I wouldn't leave them for any, any more longer than probably two to three days. So now we're going to check on the chickpeas. Which I think they're done. Yep. Oh. You can hear that crunch. Okay, and now we're just going to let them cool over here, okay? So I've just pulled these out of the freezer. Now, when you know that they're ready, it's when they're hard and you can just pop them out. So it just pops out there. So there's one. Look at that. And put them down on our board. Now these would need to be served out of the freezer, so you need to eat them. You cannot put them back in the fridge, straight out of the freezer. That's the way the best served. So that's the coconut ruffs. They are so yummy, so easy, so simple, and taste so good. That's a wrap up for BT's Kitchen. Hopefully you enjoyed those three healthy snacks that we did today. Um, if there is some mums watching us on our channel, they are great snacks for your kids' lunch boxes as well. So they're so yummy. So if you liked this video and loved our BT's Kitchen, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we upload every, every week, week and we don't want you to miss out. Also, leave a comment in below if there's something you'd like us to cook or any ideas or anything that you want us to do. And we love reading the comments. So bye for now. We'll see you next time.